What is up, friends? We're back again. This time with a bad play analysis. This time between Sabella, who I beat in round one, and Cosine 180. A nice VOD out here. But, uh, so this game isn't even that bad, honestly. Like the other games I posted were worse. But, uh, Sabella was basically like, yo, if you post a bad play analysis of me, I'm gonna shit talk the fuck out of you. Or some nonsense. But I don't really give a fuck. So I'm posting this just because this person tried to provoke me. So, <laughs> that's literally why I'm posting this. So, don't tempt me, my nigga. So, anyway. Anyway, let's get started, I suppose. Um, so Bell using the team that uh he beat me with round one. So I had like ABR's um stall team and it couldn't be Tokus, but uh Cosine is not that problem in this game as you can see. So this is game three and losers bracket by the way, so let's get started. Gonna be Venusaur against the Lopani, gonna go for the fake out um probably in the Mega Evolution, which is fine. And now as you can see, um so Bell is pretty weak to Venusaur. Um, doesn't he have much considering Lot he has hit shot by Thailand at all. This game is looking pretty um difficult for him, especially because the Calio is also a major threat once Latias goes down. So he's up bringing the Bishop on the Sludge Bomb. So good play in his part. He is gonna he um Kosan's gonna switch between the um predicting um Iron Head. He didn't want to get flinched, I'm guessing. Um and uh, Sabella's gonna switch out to Latias between the um HP fire. As you can see by that uh speed tie when they switched out, um he trained his actual uh, speed when they switched out. He trained um the Venus was actually faster than the Bishop. So get it's like max HP like a salt vest or some fucking shit set, I don't know, but uh that's got so kind of the toilet, but whatever. So Lambda Audio is gonna switch out, um it kinda has to. Can't he can't really list that right now. He's gonna go for the free stealth lock um on the um switch. Um they both missed, so that's fine. Um and the hydro pump gets off heal, which is absolutely nothing. And now Lotum is poison, which is pretty unfortunate for uh, Sabella. So now um of course I'm gonna pretty obvious which is the Venus one the ball switch, so Pretty obvious play right there. Um, Gladius is not gonna come out, and uh, yeah, so here, um, obviously he he cannot let this Gladius get trapped. If it does, he just loses. So Cosine can pretty like safely stay in here if he wants to and go for an attack or something. So uh, Lapony is gonna come out here. Cosine goes for the synthesis. Um, almost a safe play. I mean, he could have gone to Thailand at all, like regardless, he wouldn't have really lost anything. So I mean, that's not too big of a deal. So Lopani is gonna come out, and as you can see, Lopani also cannot touch Venusaur, so it's kind of irrelevant, honestly. So um, now Lopani is gonna be forced back out again into the Bishop, and he gets Giga Drain. That's just awesome. So um, yeah, now um, he yeah, he gets crit. Oh, that's not a crit. What is this? Is this a Soul Vest damage? I don't even know. I'm I th I guess this might be. I I don't know. Like. I'm guessing it is a soul vest. I don't know what else you would run with zero speed. So I guess I did. Yeah, I guess it is a soul vest damage to 35. I'm guessing it's like a kind of offensive. You know, still that much, sure, but anyway. Um, Light is gonna come out now on the um, HP fire the synthesis, probably synthesis. And uh, yeah, okay. So last time, obviously, Cosine stayed in. Okay. So, but like. I don't, I don't think you can really stay in here in side shock. It really doesn't make much sense, honestly. Cause like, you really can't, you really can't like predict that. Cause like, if Tita comes out one time, you just lose. So I really don't think you can side shock you, honestly. Um, like, it seems kind of dumb. Cause the Atlanta switch is like really obvious to begin with. So I don't really know like what the point. So like, like, okay, basically, if you didn't go for synthesis, you lose nothing by switching out to, like, let's say, like, Lopani. I think Lopani is still, like, a fine play here, because, um, basically, if he synthesis, that's fine, um, and if he goes to Talanata, um, it's, that's better as well. Um, he, he, to win this game, he needs to somehow, like, get sand up so he can't heal and, like, somehow flush the Venus well, but it's pretty damn difficult for him to do that, but, uh, that's kind of his only hope is Cosine, like, choking on dick. But, uh, what you don't want to do, however, is randomly switch out to a Toro Kiss and just die to Sludge Bomb. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, I don't even know what to say to that, honestly, like that. Like, okay, that, the game, let's face it here, the matchup is kind of like uh, unwinnable. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, why would you go to Toro Kiss? Like, what? Like, I don't, I don't get that at all, though. Like, what? On what plan is that a good play? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it doesn't make any sense to go to Tokus there. Because the thing is, um, even if we did synthesis, like, I said before, Lopani is a better play. Because, like, what is this even gonna do? Like, he's gonna go to T Tor. Like, even if he gets enough synthesis, he's gonna go to T Tor. Like, if he get a synthesis, this is a better play. Because if he, if, he, if he didn't click synthesis, he's either gonna A Sludge Bomb, which he did, and kill this. 
we'll just switch out to Lanto, which which also beats the Togekiss. So really, it makes no sense to do that at all, especially because this thing is 100%. So you really didn't know he's gonna switch out there. Like Sludge Bomb was a safe play. Um, so I really don't know what the fuck Sabella was thinking. But like, yeah. So that that's pretty unfortunate. That that's pretty much maybe the game. Like, there's no way in hell Sabella's gonna be able to break this team. And now they now he goes for Psy Sock, which was um. Also ridiculously predictable, so uh, yeah, he does lose this game, I guess. Um, kind of unfortunate, just came down to matchup, kind of, but that was still a pretty damn terrible. Flyly, really honestly, the point of that, um, honestly, <laughs> like, uh, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, what? Why would you go to Togekiss there? It doesn't make any sense. Like, what? Like, what? I don't care. I was gonna out all the Cinders. At least go to like Lopani or something. Like, why would you bring this out? Like, the Sludge Bomb was really predictable too. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Idiots. Idiots, man. How these people qualify for OLP, I'll never know. Absolutely unbelievable, I swear. Anyway, um, so, I'm gonna come on the land. It is literally game over right now, um, just stalling for a bit, I guess. So, uh, Volt Switch on to the Lopani on the Heat Sand, and that's fine. Now it's a free kill, basically, um, if he has Ice Punch anyway, which I don't know if he does or not. Uh, Power Up Punch. So that's fine, um, you can just switch on here probably, and that will kill with the critical hit. That's unfortunate, I guess, it doesn't really matter, obviously, so that's whatever. Power Punch the Venusaur, and, uh, yeah, it's gonna Giga Drain twice, and Venusaur's gonna Giga Drain the rest of these mods too, and that's gonna be the game. So, uh, Cosine moves on and loses back, and Sabella's out of the tourney after losing to me and Cosine, um, so, pretty unfortunate, uh, as I said before, um, this game wasn't, like, really that ass, the matchup was pretty terrible. I'm literally only posting because because this nigga like called me out of some fucking nonsense. But uh, that Togekiss play was still like ridiculously good. But it didn't make any fucking sense at all to do that. Like, on what plan was going Togekiss a good play? Like, so someone please tell me. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you just gonna sludge bomb synthesis at which point you just bring this in anyway. Or like sludge bomb, use it a hundred percent, dude. Like, use the sludge bomb and switch the T-Toy. Like, honestly, it was like so obvious at that. So. I don't know, that was a shit play. Like, why would he want to voluntarily waste his synthesis? We can just go to t -Zone. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, Lee Tall is bro. Complete idiot. So, um, yeah, um. Anyway, um, so without seeing me, um, recording my, um, OLT series against NJNT, I said I wasn't gonna post it, but, uh, hey, why not? Um, that last series wasn't, like, bad, bad, so I figured I might as well post this also, because, um, yeah, it's basically not good enough for its own video, probably. So, uh, anyway, I'm using this team I stole from, like, Lay Midi with some modifications, um, made by CBB and stuff. So, basically, as you can see, Botch the Goom for some reason, I have a Blue Loom with Life Orb. So, um, I kind of have a really good matchup here, so let's see what happens. Um, he's only with Camel up against my, um, Land of the I'm gonna go for Stealth Lock on the, um, Switch to Slow Blow, so pretty obvious stuff there. Um, I'm gonna switch to my Lodum here, which is, I mean, I mean my Latios. Um, I don't wanna go to Lodum, I want, I want it healthy for them. Can't let them call it on stuff, so. I'm gonna go for Joyco Mini here. Um, I probably should just Psy Sock, but I kinda just, like, clicked it for no reason. Um, but whatever. I don't want Meta Ghost here on the Stealth, like, that's fine. And, uh, the Slow Boss, which is really obvious right now. I'm gonna go back to, I mean, oh, oh Cam Up, I guess. But, uh, I put it slow, we went to Cam Up, that's fine as well, I guess. Cause now I can just go for the 3 Hydro Pump, and, uh, he kinda has no switch in, so I'm gonna bring in the Kofagus, which is gonna get 3 hk so that's pretty solid for me. Considering this is really the one thing that's even, like, remotely coming close to stopping Blue Loom besides, like, Castalia, so I'm gonna Hydro Pump there as he goes for Trick Loom. Um, his Shadow Ball's not gonna do that much, so I'm gonna be able to both switch out and take this thing out, which is pretty solid for me. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring in my, um, Latios once again, he's probably gonna go caught on, which uh, is really the only threat to me on his team, but, um, it's really not that big of a threat, honestly, so. He's gonna go for knock off my land of switch. Um, I can do that. I'll see the shit ton, but um, <laughs> doesn't really matter. I still have blue loom chill in the back, so it's fine. He's gonna knock off me again, take me up. Go bring in my blue loom right here. Gonna go for the mock punch. I'm um, not gonna hit anything until the was off this turn, so perfectly fine. Um, brings in class. I was actually kind of worried to be might be safety goggles or something because it's fucking. Du I, I don't know. I was thinking too much about doubles because then safety goggles in there, but uh. Um, it's probably not. I decided to say fuck it. It's going for spool anyway, and uh, it does work out. So that's fine. I'm gonna go for the little seed here, which should be able to hit KO as long as I get three hits each and he stays asleep. And uh, yeah, he just stays asleep this turn. So if you get three hits here, the game is basically over. And uh, yeah, luckily for me, I do get three hits and uh, I finishes it off. So pretty soft for me. And now he's gonna switch out and I mean bring our camel up. I'm gonna go for the spool here. I don't really want to risk the um wake up though. So I'm gonna bring in my Latios, knowing that I can um live anything. 
Uh, so that's fine. He's, he's not actually awake up here, so the good thing that's switched out. Because I have focus punch on that blue, I'm not like um anything else, I guess. So I'm gonna quit the side shot, it's kind of unfortunate, but I mean, he did get the wake up, so I don't really think you can count. I mean, he missed the fire buzz, I guess, so it's still kind of unfortunate. Um, it doesn't really matter though, considering um blue loom wins anyway, so he's gonna go for trick loom here. Um, who cares? I'm gonna bring my meta on the explosion. Um, I kind of brought it into waste trick loom, so that works out as well for me. And now he's gonna bring in the cloud on, which is gonna be able to do absolutely nothing to me. He's gonna kill Matagos, but who cares really? Um, <laughs> for some reason I decided to bring in like Lack Weavile. I don't really know why I did this. Like, I, <laughs> I don't really know why I didn't just go straight to Blue Loom, but like whatever. So who cares really? Um, I sacked the Latios. He's gonna bring in Blue Loom now, and now I just win the game. Cause I really can't stop me. Trick Loom was off this turn, so Slow Blue cannot. Oh, that, that's why I did actually, the way to Trick Loom turn. Um, Cause uh, if I kill this, he could have been able to switch out and keep his thing alive and have one more turn to glue him, etc, etc. So, you will put Sleep Powder here. Don't even need it though, cause Bullet Team will take it out in one hit. So, that's that. And uh, yeah, that's so the game one. Now we move on to game two. This is the game two. Um, he has this Needle King balance team, and I have my uh, Sand Lopani team. I still have maybe and Amir. It's really good. He's the qualify for OLT. Like, I'm really good with this team. So, they had 20 AST. I use Scalmly sometimes, and also I use, um, Togekiss, Togekiss beats Stall and some stuff like that, and Scalm is good for like, in general, for like, um, Tornadus T, for example, um, what else? Uh, it also, it is a Locky Helmet, so it's good for Sizzle and things like that. The U turn landers and things like that, so it's pretty solid, um, in that sense. Also, it gets Spice Help Me Wood down, like, random teams, so looking at this team, um, if I can kill the. The Nido King is honestly a big threat, because, like, the thing is, it kind of always kills everything, um, so, uh, that's kind of a problem. Like, it can't kill Lodum, it can 2 HK Lodum. Um, it's probably the final move to hit both of these things, and um, other battle for these, obviously. So, Needle King's a big threat. If I can get rid of that, though, I can win this game pretty comfortably with my team. So, because he seems like all he has to ask you is Lodum, and if I can weaken that, um, I'll be in good position. Because uh, Lodum is also his um, only answer to Lopani, so these two should be able to break him if I can kill the um, Needle King pretty easily. So, let's see what happens, I suppose. He's gonna bring Lodum, I'm gonna leave with my um, Skullmly. I'm especially defensive, as you can see, so I'm gonna go for the Fleet Spike right here. Um, on his Needle King switch. I'm gonna switch out here to my Tanana until I bring the fire, bring the fire move. Um, and uh, yeah, so he I figured he probably doesn't have Focus Blast, and he, he might not go for it. So uh, I'm just gonna stay in. I know I can level this fast. I'm gonna go for Stealth Lock. Goes a flamethrower though. Um, he knows it's my Estridol's balloon, so I'm guessing he tried to break that. So that's fine for me. And uh, yeah, he's probably gonna put Estridol again, so that's gonna my load him W because uh, it's pretty um safe right here. And he is well, he misplays a lot because uh. He kind of needs, he can't stay in here, like he really can't. I almost took both switch here, I almost did, because like, his switch is so obvious. Because if he loses this, he automatically loses the game. Like, without this, there's no way in hell he's beating SP to a slow point. I just automatically win. But uh, I decided to click Hydro Pump, and thank God for me, because he chokes on Dig and goes for the Sludge Wave. Um, <laughs> that was a pretty unfortunate play for him. I don't know why he exactly did that. Um, I don't, I don't even have any special defense investment, so I mean, it's not like he, he, did, he thought I could like die or something, I don't know. That was a pretty bad play, and uh, this game's gonna be pretty easy from now on, as you will see. He's gonna bring in Lopani here and kill me. I don't really care though. Um, actually, I'm gonna go to Scarmly, um, cause uh, I knew he'd go for the good turn there, predicting my um um Amoongus to come out, so I knew I can get some free Locky Helmet damage on him. So works out well for me. And now I know he's forced to high jump kick, so I know I can just bring in my Amoongus for free on that. So that's pretty solid as well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he's kind of in a bad position right now. Because now I get a free spoil off on whatever comes in. Um, he's gonna decide to bring in the Thailand until I take the spoil, which is fine by me. And uh, yeah, he's gonna try and break the switch. Uh, he's gonna try to break me to Giga Drain here, but I decided to go with my Lopani. Just because um, Giga Drain is not gonna do that much anyway to the um, Thailand until. And I wanna get in my Lopani as quick as possible, so that's fine. He's gonna bring in Torn. I'm gonna put the fake out. It's a safe play right there. Because um, I need to. Um, I need to Mega Evolve and stuff like that. So, he let his side just go for the turn. I don't really care if he will with me. Um, I mean, it would be kind of annoying, but I just think this thing weakened anyway. And honestly, um, I know I can win this game pretty easily regardless. And I feel like the Volt Switch here is so obvious that like I, I feel comfortable going for the turn. So, go for the turn right here. As you can see, a frustration. I mean, it's a shit ton. And uh, he's going to Volt Switch. That's absolutely the game over right there. Because, uh, yeah, um, I can just, um, now it's an actual range, I just win from here, as you will see. So, he's a big in Gelati, um, it's probably a Scar, so I'm gonna switch out to my Scar Emily, make it take some damage, um, and here, I'm gonna switch to the Land Talk, because I wanna get my Sand up for my Astro Joe. It looks like it's even better for me, though, it brings in, um, his, um, Lodum, 
which means that now he's going to be forced to Volt Switch because I can just sack skull him so he can't paint split. So that means that now Iron Head from um, S. Riddle can kill this so I don't even have to lock slide. So that's just going to straight up be game. He's a bandage 20, he's going to go my little punny um, for free basically. You have a free to turn on this. Um, Frustration, I mean, <laughs> okay, KO that, and uh, yeah, I see that bringing the little punny his last gasp, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Though. I'm gonna go for quick attack here. I don't really need to, of course. I have Escrigo, which just wins, so we're both gonna die, which is fine. And now my Escrigo doesn't come in and finish off the game, so uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that, I guess. It was kind of a bad series, but uh, what can you do, I guess? So, um, hopefully, um, my last matches will be um, better. Actually, I don't, I don't hope that. I hope I win all these matches easily, but uh. It probably won't happen. I just play I don't get on Fuga, but like <laughs> so we'll see. Um hope I win this tournament bros. Um so uh yeah, hope you enjoyed that and uh yeah, peace friends. Bop it is